Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing every singular unit of Anime Last Stand Update 2 Part 2. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys do like and subscribe. Almost at 40k subs, so we can get ourselves our code unit. Let's get straight into this. So currently on this account right here, I have just about all the units, except for two of them, which I have on one of them I already have recording, which is Utah. I don't exactly have him. He's really hard to get. The second one is Albedo, which I have on my alt, so it's fine. So right now we have both, aka Boa Hancock right there. We have Rius or Red Dragon Empress. And then, where'd she just go? She just flew away we actually have two of her we have two boas and we have two riuses as you can see this one actually has a celestial tree i bring this one with us yeah she's just like floating away or underground i don't know so there is two of the units and next we have lovely iran car i'm gonna go ahead and bring what the hell look what they did to him but so while doing portals i ended up getting two of him i got one on my alt i think i got two of basically every unit except for one albedo and zero utas but now we're gonna go ahead and join on my alt too so my alt can bring the other unit i need to bring which is albedo i'll switch over to that screen when i'm going to be showcasing her but let's get straight into this video before we do that we actually need to bring farm I gotta make sure I don't forget. I know I am going to. So we're gonna bring him, speed wagon, and the wife speed wagon. Best waifu right there. There we go. That's the team right there. Three of the new units. One of them does have a celestial trait. I actually do want to roll on Boa a little bit before we get into this. I wanted to roll on Albedo, but I accidentally got it on my alt instead. This right here, I want to get something decent on. Hyper speed. That's actually a good trait. So I am getting traits on them, so it may be a little bit off from a normal level one. It is 2.3 times the stats for most of you that know. Alright, and then for my alt, I'm gonna get Albedo, aka Angel, right here. She looks pretty cool too. They have really crazy effects. You can't really take screenshots though because of the nighttime. But we're gonna bring her. She has scoped one on it. I only had one reroll, so I couldn't really get anything. Yeah, that's really the only unit we have to bring on here. We can just bring a damage unit and then two farm, which we have idle and speed car on here. Okay, there we go. This is the team for this account. Alright, so we can start farming. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to farm on two different accounts though. I was doing portals with them, so maybe it will be fine. Alright, guys, we have maxed up both the farms on both of my accounts. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell these units. I'm gonna place down a Sakuna in the back in case they are not hybrid. I don't know if all these characters are hybrid or not, but we can go ahead and start upgrading. Let's turn on sound and all right so this is boa on placement right here she has a massive placement range as you can see 51.7 range on placement no tree the only thing she has is this right here it makes her sp a little bit faster which is loki needed the best trait for her would probably be shinigami and shinigami shinigami is basically the best trait for any support character except avatar is better sometimes but as you can see every attack she does she actually stuns them for around two or three seconds maybe she has a meta unit. She stuns on placement. 1k damage at level 1. So we'll be doing around 3k. 2.5k actually max level. This is with no skill tree by the way. That's not calculated in. She has a ground unit. And we could place a solid two of them. Okay, so Shinigami isn't that great with her, but it is for the support, obviously. So let's start upgrading her now. 1.02k, 1.56k, 1.56k to 2.42k, 2.42k to 4.10k, 50 range. Okay, slight increase right there. It doesn't look like it's any new attack or anything like that. Oh, actually, it is a new attack. It's not a bigger AOE, though. And she also still does stun, as you can see, that's a stun symbol right there. 4.1k to 5k, 5k to 7.06k. 7.06k to 9.12k, 9.12k to 14.2k, okay. And this is our max out, 14.2k to 20.4k. And there we go, that is a maxed out boa, so her AoE does not change whatsoever. That is her final attack right there, she still stuns. It does not change the stun time, and she is hybrid, so she is a hybrid stun. I did ask Tor, and he said Nami is still a better stun than her, so you should still probably get her. She is still really useful. She only costed 30k to max out, she does it on placement, just like Nami too. She has a bigger AoE, I'm pretty sure, on placement. She doesn't really have much of an AoE, I think, but she could possibly be better. And she's a really cheap unit, you could use her for macroing, she only costs 6 600. She is pretty weak too. She just has a decently high SP. This is with no tree though. If we max out her tree, she'll probably have like three seconds or so. Let's go into the next unit. This one has a celestial tree. It has all seeing. I got this in around 20 something rerolls. Oh my god. Wait, that was a cone? That's a cone, Haley? <laughs> Dude, that actually looks like a line. I don't think this is meant to be a cone. I'm not gonna lie. 1.18k to 1.54k. 27.9 range, 5.1 seconds. So going to scaling them because they're getting too far out. Okay, I did not mean to double upgrade. Okay, 1.54k to 8.29k, 31 range. Okay, big increase right there. 8.29k to 11.1k, 38.7 range, and she goes to a line AoE. That one right there, that makes sense to be a line AoE also. These things have, how much HP? 15k, okay. So we're not really getting tanked that much. 11.1k to 13.5k, 13.5k to 16.4k. 16.4k to 54.5k, 54.2 range, and 9.35 second SPA, boom, and now she's a full AoE hybrid unit, oh my god, look at that attack, just cleared the entire map like that, so the best unit for her is also Shinigami, if you guys are not surprised at this point, Shinigami is just the best trait on everyone in the game at this point, if anything is above 3 placement, it's most likely going to be Shinigami, or if it is support, 
But let's go ahead and start upgrading once again. 54.5k to 67.5k. 54.2 range, 7.65 second SPA. So the SPA was upgraded. This is her AoE right here. That is absolutely massive. It is 62 range with the Oshi buff, so we could look key place her. Did it place it right there? I don't know, but let's try to place it right there. This is with the best range passive in the game too. If you get a tree, max out the tree for range, you can definitely get the entire planet dynamic map because it goes up like 30% more. I don't know. It goes up a lot. We'll be at at least 80 range with it. This is definitely be the entire map, but this is absolutely insane. It is hybrid also. Her maxed out with overward. I think I saw it doing 400k. This one is a three placement unit, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, she's a four placement unit. Okay, yeah. Definitely Shinigami for her then. All seeing is not bad either because it does give 100% crits and a bunch of other buffs. I'm definitely going to keep this. I'm not going to roll it off unless it's just that good. So this one right here is a hill unit actually it is supposed to be celestial unit of course that this is supposed to be a celestial unit it is a rare right now though as you can see right there it has like the celestial outline or exotic whatever it's supposed to be and it does poison damage which is actually the pretty rare thing you don't really see that it is a hill unit a line aoe on placement 721 damage 45 range three seconds so if you get overload on him it would actually be op because apparently he has around the same amount of dps as mash i don't know if he'll be that great for using like, his damage isn't that high but he does hella poison damage 1.08k to 3.6k 3.6k to 5.87k, 50 range, okay, 5.87, oh, actually, that's a new attack, okay, I'm pretty sure it's new, I don't remember what he was doing, but that is the next ability if that is new, 5.87k to 7.57k, 7.57k to 14.1k, 14.1k to 18.4k, 18.4k to 23.6k, there we go, that is maxed out, hybrid unit, obviously, I want it to attack strongest real quick, so strongest would be back here, these things have 125k, oh, actually, it's attacking a boss, okay, we just have to make things a little bit easier, there we go, 135k let's see the poison damage coming in yeah it's not really working i don't know someone did a dps test and was doing that i think they removed his poison damage though so now he's just bad he's also a four placement unit so never mind he's bad don't use him I'm pretty sure there's a bug where you can summon from the banner oh yeah he's an eight placement unit right now i thought oh no he's five i thought Tor changed it to four apparently he changed it to five though i didn't even know that all right next character which is actually on the other account okay so we're finally done with this one we can switch over our roboxes okay so those are the first three characters you know we got to do the best character for last albedo is actually another person that is probably as good as okay so we have to turn on the sound for this robox i almost forgot almost as good if not as good as guts is definitely for someone who's competing for the best bleed in the game right now other than sakuna he definitely has the best bleed but 1.03k to 1.33k 18.9 range and six second spa okay it's something like 1.33k to 2.6k 21 range six spa still and this right here is where she starts getting a lot of range 2.06k to 3.09k doubles the range six second spa nice so currently she is a ground she does have 10 upgrades though so we can expect something from her. 3.09k to 6.18k. 18 k to 10.3k. 10.3k to 14.4k. 14.4k to 17.5k. 17.5k to 26.7k. And here's her next ability. So right here, she gets a fat. This is a massive cone right here. Oh my god. We're gonna target last with this, actually. Look at that. We actually need to turn on effects for her. I've not had that on. I'm not gonna lie. You know, she's getting replaced, actually. We did not see the other effects. Okay, this is her placement right there. That's her- Damn. Okay, 8 million. I think Sakuna's easily got that. But yeah, right there. She is... Yeah, that attack's pretty cool, I guess. So is, there, is that her next ability? Let's see. No, it's definitely the same. All right, before we upgrade it again. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's not going to change. There we go. This is where we were just at. Upgrade 8, 26.7k to 31.9k. And this is her attack right here. Put her back on last now so Sakuna stops getting in the way. Speaking of getting in the way, move the account... All right, let's see that again. Okay, she does like a double slash. I don't know how it's this massive AoE right here. She also does bleed. That's why she's competing with Guts for being one of the best blades in the game. 26.7k to 31.9k. 31.9k to 41k. Boom. I actually did do a showcase video for this. And once she gets fully maxed out, upgrade 10, she gets hybrid, by the way. That's why she's a little bit better than Guts, in my opinion. But maxed out... I think I did... I think she was doing 200k with Cosmic at level 60 when I showcased it. So if you would get Avatar with her, she'll be doing at least 500k max out with Max Tree, which is actually broken, and she is a 3 placement unit. Nice. Okay, so these are all the maxed out units, except for Yuta we're about to get to. But this is Boa 41k, Rhea 67k. This right here, Hancock, is a definitely meta stun. She's definitely needed. And then this is lovely Roncar, which is definitely the worst unit of the update. But yeah, let's get over to the Yuta showcase now. Hold up, hold up. Yuta is doing 11.3k, 16.5 range, and 5.1 SPA. So we're going to go ahead and turn on unit effects, and we're going to turn on the sound. There we go. Ready for him to start upgrading now. Okay, we're cool. This is his first attack right here. It's just a sword strike. Next upgrade, he has 28.3k, 16.5 range, 5.1 SPA. Did not change whatsoever yet. It's still the same attack. His first attack is pretty clean, though. I like that. 
Next upgrade, 45.2k, 16.5 range, 5.1 SPA. So with his next upgrade, he goes to 76.7k, 33 range, 5.1 seconds. So he's definitely going to have a new ability after this one right here. All right, so here's his next ability. Oh, there is Rika right there. Oh my God, 76.7k, 33 range, 5.1 seconds. He is now a circle AoE. He is still ground. He is, I think that's like holy or something. I don't, I don't know exactly what that is. I'm gonna place down a Goja right here for airs. I mean, this is a pretty cool attack though. We get Rika coming out like a little ghost or something, going over there smacking him. Next upgrade, 90.5k, 33 range, 5.1 one seconds and he is really expensive that's why it's way of 26 been waiting for him to grind up some yen because it's 14 upgrades next upgrade 101k to 132k 33 range 5.1 seconds his next upgrade is another ability though which actually lowers his range oh it already showed it okay 132k 22 range in 5.95 seconds so this right here so i forgot what this was called it is lightning though he has black flash looks like every time he punches as you can see 132k 22 range 5.95 seconds he got another upgrade though 155k 22 range 5 5.95 seconds and his next one 185k 22 seconds 5.95 so this right here actually stuns so already he is going to be stunning the units but the one thing about him is you're going to want shinigami on him is a three placement unit if you guys do not know you're going to see why you want shinigami on him in a second next upgrade 211k 22 range 5.95 seconds upgrade after that now he is a cone aoe nice so right there as you can see that's why you're going to need this this is why you're going to want shinigami he is a really op support unit 242k 27.5 range 6.8 seconds this is the microphone attack right here that is pretty cool okay it just says die shine so this right here I, I keep forgetting the effects of this game but this right here gives a 10 percent slow and 15 percent damage buff it is really op the other one gave a stun so you can have a stun, you can have a buff like this, and you can have a normal one for like pure damage basically because it removes it all at the end, I'm pretty sure. Upgrade 12. I might have missed an upgrade. I, I I think it was just an upgrade 10. I don't know. But now he's doing 415k, 38.5 range, and 9.35 second SPA with a line AoE. And as you guys saw right there, he is still ground, unfortunately, but he does have Rika now. Oh my god, look at that. That is absolutely insane. Upgrade 13, 499k, 38.5 range, 9.35 second SPA. That is absolutely OP. And we died. What? We died? Okay, well, his max out is 546k, 38.5 range, and an 8.5 second SPA. I don't know how we did die. We're gonna go ahead and retry and see if he rejoins. All right, guys, so again, upgrade 13. Look at that line right there. That went way past the AoE. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it would hit all of that. Let's see if it actually does. Maybe it's broken. Nope, guys, you can only dream, I guess. 499k, 38.5 range, 9.35 second SPA. And just to let you guys do know... This unit is hella expensive. I know I said it's best with Shinigami. It still is because it's a really good support unit. As you can see, upgrade 14. He sells for 149k, meaning he costs 398k to max out. 546,000 damage. This is with no tree max level, by the way. So if you had Overlord, he would be doing over 2 million damage. If you had a max tree damage build. If you had Shinigami with the max tree still, you'll still be doing over a million damage, by the way. Probably like 1.2, 1.1 million damage, maybe. And you could still place three of them, by the way. So you'll be doing 3 million damage every eight seconds by the way it'll probably be better with that because i think shinigami's spa is a little bit better so with this if you get shinigami it will cost 900k to max him out or, or anything that is a three placement the only one placement units is avatar and overlord so if you get one of those two it's already a w he has no effect he is hybrid so 546,000 damage hybrid is absolutely broken i'm not gonna lie this unit is definitely worth the grind currently it is the best unit in the game and again it's three plays this is his effect right here let's go over to it let's see if we can get a screenshot of it so he's placing down the other ones right there i think the effect will mess it up though Ooh. no i can't get it my computer's a little bit too laggy to even get this so let me see if i can get it one more time i'll try again it didn't spawn i guess we can screenshot that but as you can see he placed down three yutas he's upgrading all of them now it's like 546k. Let's go. So that's 1.5 million damage every 8.5 seconds. Hybrid unit. He has 38.5 range though. His range isn't too great for being a lion unit. I mean, in basically all the tower defenses like AA, other games like that, they always have like 60 range. It's usually a really broken unit, but that's with a good trait mostly. This right here isn't anything that good of a trait. But you yeah, guys, that's the Yuta showcase. So make sure you guys do like and subscribe if you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully this is the first showcase out. We, we want that number one spot. But thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. Try to get me to 40,000 subs so we can get our code unit in the next update maybe. Peace out.